Does Repatha cause muscle pain? You've probably seen the TV commercials for Repatha, that cholesterol-lowering medication uh, on television. And maybe you're taking Repatha right now and experiencing muscle aches. And are you may be wondering, is it all in your mind? Well, maybe not. And in the next couple minutes in this quick video, I want to share with you some evidence that the muscle aches you may be experiencing are not imaginary and that it could be a real phenomenon. So let's take a look at the evidence for Repatha causing muscle pain. First up, what the heck is Repatha? Well, in case you're not familiar, you just stumbled upon this video. Repatha is a very powerful cholesterol-lowering medication. It is technically called a PCSK9 inhibitor. It works differently than a statin medication. Statin medications knock out an enzyme involved in cholesterol medication, while Repatha is actually an antibody. It's like a terminator antibody. It goes around and it knocks out a specialized protein that is involved in the, uh, the LDL production, the production of bad cholesterol, LDL, in our body. LDL stands for low-density lipoprotein. And the, odds, the idea here is the lower the bad cholesterol, the lower the LDL, the lower the risk of heart disease. So if we can lower LDL uh, by a powerful medication like Repatha, that may in turn reduce our chances of heart attacks and heart disease, stuff like that. Unlike other medications, Repatha is injected. So if you're taking this, you already know that. But just in case uh, people watching this video are not aware, this is not a pill. This is something you inject uh, maybe once or twice a month into your body. Okay. Now, I, this, this video originally came up because, you know, when people take statin medications, they sometimes experience muscle pain and they may not respond to, st to statin medications. And that's why doctors may say, hey, let's take this, let's try this injectable medication called Repatha and see if that might work. Well, I, I, I've seen the cholesterol drug TV commercial for Repatha and I didn't see muscle pain listed as a possible side effect. And I thought that was interesting because I personally know someone who experienced muscle pain after taking this medication. The muscle pain did not come up originally, but yet took months to, to creep in and take effect and the muscle pain was debilitating. I watched a person deal with this uh, for several months, debilitating muscle pain, even after he stopped taking Repatha. So uh, that's why I wanted to do this video. That's why I originally did a review of Repatha on my website that I will link to so you can see the other people who have commented and experienced debilitating muscle pain as well. So let me, for the first time ever on YouTube, show you some of the evidence for muscle pain. Here is an investigation from 2014, anti-PCSK9 antibody effectively lowers cholesterol in patients with statin intolerance. These are people who were not re responding to statin medications. The Gauss-2 randomized placebo-controlled phase three clinical trial of Repatha. The study involved over 300 people, and these researchers note that muscle pain occurred in 12% of the people getting Repatha. It was lower than people who were taking another medication called Zetia, but still 12% is significant in my book. Uh, and, and again, that uh, doesn't mean it happens in everybody, but it is an effect. Here's another investigation. This actually took, this is a press release that I took right off of Amgen's website. Amgen is the pharmaceutical company that makes Repatha. Positive eff efficacy and tolerability of Repatha in statin intolerated patients. This is a, again, a press release that was originally published in the uh, Journal of American Medical Association. In this investigation, muscle pain is noted in 13.8% of people who are taking Repatha. Again, that's less than people who are taking the uh, a Zetia drug. Again, a Zetia is not a statin, it's just another type of medication. So here you have two different lines of evidence showing that uh, that muscle pain can result from taking Repatha. Again, it's it's it actually noted as a as a common side effect which could occur, generally speaking, anywhere from what one percent to ten percent across the board. But these two studies are showing between twelve and almost fourteen percent uh, uh, muscle pain in people taking this medication. Um, there are some other side effects that just to throw out to you that like any drug, everything's going to have side effects. Your results may vary according to what side effects you may have. These are some things that I uh, noted when I was writing my original uh, Repatha review on my website, which again, I'll link to so you can take a look at it. Again, back pain, chills, ear congestion. Again, all this stuff is going to vary from person to person. But again, like any other medication, uh, there's always going to be a side effects and side effects can vary according to people. All right.
Now, I, I can't let you go without letting you know that uh, while medications may be necessary in some people, if you've never considered more natural approaches, um, you might want to take a look at this and talk to your doctor about it. Again, I've, I've taken these six different uh, things and I put them in order of what I believe is safest uh, and, and has the most evidence. Weight loss, yeah, there's a, a multitude of, ev of evidence showing that uh, even a small amount of weight loss can reduce cholesterol in people. Uh, raising good cholesterol, lowering bad cholesterol, doesn't take a lot. You know, less than say 10% of your total body weight could result in favorable changes in your total cholesterol and LDL to HDL ratios. What does that mean? Hey, if you're 200 pounds, losing less than 20 pounds could could help lower cholesterol levels. Uh, exercise has got a, has got a whole, whole bunch of evidence that also shows it can favorably improve cholesterol levels, as does fiber, eating more fruits and vegetables. Uh, you, you guys probably know the evidence on the positive uh, health benefits of fruit and vegetables. Well, they can also help uh, lower cholesterol levels. The fiber in these foods can uh, effectively lower cholesterol in many people. And again, there's even, you know, there's even fiber supplements out there, which may help as well. Uh, I, I like to start my day with a big fruit and veggie smoothie, uh, which is just teeming with fiber. I'll put a link to that in the, so you can check out what I drink for uh, breakfast pretty much every day. Uh, in terms of supplements, four, five, and six, these are the supplements I think probably have the strongest lines of evidence. And again, I'm putting them in order of what I think are probably safest at this point based on the research. Bergamot is an extract of an orange, a type of orange. And there are several studies noting that bergamot can lower cholesterol levels in individuals. Again, I have a review of bergamot I'll link to in the video so you can check out that review, that, that research. Red yeast rice has been around a million years, and red yeast rice has been shown repeatedly to lower cholesterol levels and LDL levels in individuals. Why is that? Well, it turns out red yeast rice contains a natural statin medication. So that's the reason why it works. So uh, some people, they, they, they say, they, I don't want to take a statin drug and they take red yeast rice. Well, red yeast rice contains a statin medication. That's why it works. But again, for people who want to go the natural route, I, I get why red yeast rice would be an attractive option for them. And then lastly, number six is niacin. Niacin is a vitamin, and multiple studies have noted that niacin can uh, favorably lower cholesterol levels and triglyceride levels and bad cholesterol levels. Uh, the problem with niacin is that you got to take a lot of it uh, to get these results, uh, far more than the RDA. Uh, and also niacin can have some, some, some nasty side effects, like it can affect your liver and make you feel flushed in the skin and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't try niacin without talking to your doctor and monitoring your liver enzymes. Um, but again, I, these, are, if, these are various different ways in which you could lower your cholesterol levels, which don't necessarily require a prescription medication. So is Repatha right for you? Um, I would say, obviously, talk it over with your doctor, and if if you're if you're going to take this medication, say what do you think about the medic the 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 muscle pain that people have been talking about? And I've actually uh, spoken with several people who have experienced this muscle pain. Uh, again, it, it is it is definitely worth having a conversation with your doctor about this because I don't think this message is getting out to people enough. So guys, if you've taken Repatha and it's worked for you, great. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about your positive stories. And if you've also experienced muscle pain from Repatha, uh, please leave a comment below as well. I'd like to hear your stories as well. Guys, until next time, I'm Joe Cannon. Have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.